Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Two Point Hospital where we are here at Mitten University and having a good old go over things. First of all, if you go on to enjoy this video, please go ahead and click the like button. It really does help us out and let me know you're enjoying it. And uh, of course, if you're new here and you'd like to see lots more creative gaming for grown-ups, all you have to do is click subscribe. So, um, we've gotten a bit of a mess with Mitten, I'll be honest, in the last couple of episodes, and I've learned a lot, and also your comments have really helped as well. There's a big, there's an old saying in sports is that spectator sees more of the game, and the amount of stuff that you're noticing that I'm just flying past, I don't do it on purpose, I'm sorry, um, you, just, you guys uh, and girls just seem to be picking up on stuff. So, uh, I'm going to take all the advice after the last three or four episodes, and uh, we've basically restarted Mitten, okay? So, pause the game, came in straight away pause the game I built all of this I built more. in fact I did all of this without a loan pretty much um, and then I've took a 50 grand loan out all right so we're, we're, we're loaned up all right but I want to talk you through a little bit of some of the design choices I've made here first of all we've got a reception desk like last time that we can eventually add more receptionists if we need to we're just gonna start off with the one and see how we get on all right uh, then we have two GPs office uh, one here and one here, pretty much mirror images of each other. So we're going to get them started off at both uh, straight away as well. Then we've also got a, uh, a GD in this side and a cardio in this side an award. So these are all of our sort of basic diagnoses. Now I know that we haven't got psychiatric, uh, but we're going to actually class that as a treatment. I know that it does both and ward does both as well, but you know, at some point you've got to decide where they go, haven't you? So that's how that works. Then we've got space for a third GP's office here when we need it. We're not going to put it in just yet. We're going to start with two, but we're going to need just one just yet. And then we've got a toilet here that I've selected to be a, a public toilet. So patients only in that one. Then we move on to this room where patients will never have to come. Basically, I've got this bit. This is going to be the 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 school wing of the uh, of the building. You see, because because this the, the whole point of this route this this one is that it's all about training and research. And I didn't quite realise that when I started off. To be honest, I should have paid more attention. So here we've got a nice large staff room. We scope for uh, expansion in the future. And then we've got two training rooms. Again, this is another great idea from the comments. Uh, you can only have one training course running at once. So rather than having a big training room with 12 seats in, because you're never going to train 12 people, are you? Have two with six or even three. But, you know, I just felt like this fits quite nicely. So we've got two nice training rooms over here. And then we've got a research department. Now, because this is a research, uh, restart even, it is still wanting us to work towards this. But the thing stayed unlocked. So I'm not too sure what they're going to be able to do about that as far as the game's concerned. But, yeah, that's, that, that's basically how this works. <laughs> um... So what I'd like to do is put that then there to keep this area warm. Talking of which, uh, let's have a look now, just check. Uh, a few things that people have pointed out then, uh, temperature is being one, and also bins has been another major one. Um, I... Uh, I used to put a bin in a room because in Theme Hospital because it looked like it was the right thing to do. It turns out they're actually useful. They are they used in this. People use them. Uh, so these are definitely going to be something we have to try and put down. So I'm going to put a couple down here for the staff to use. Uh, and then the main one really is here for the for the punters, for the guests, uh, for the um, uh, patients even. Because they just keep making such an awful mess. So we're going to try and stick a few of these in and around where we can and hope that um, that it's enough. Here we go. People saying that, that we're overrunning our, our janitors with stuff to do because we've not been putting these uh, down. And you know what? As I said before, this is the stuff I appreciate. This is the stuff that I need to know. This is the stuff that really helps me out. So let's get a few. Um, I don't really know where you would have another one really. I suppose I suppose this, these corners here. Yeah, we've got one on the inside. I guess on the outside probably wouldn't do no harm either. And um, yeah, we've got one there. Okay, well, we'll see how we get on, see whether we need more or not. Uh, I want to check attractiveness. I've been trying to think of this as we go. We've got a big of a blank area here, but to be honest with you, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we have a rather, rather large blank area inside this ward here, so I wonder if there's something we can do about that. Can we move this thing? Right, so there we go. So most of these areas now are covered. Uh, toilets, but you know, toilets are toilets are, aren't they? Okay, so uh, here we go then. We're open. We've got a couple of janitors. I just, I, I hired them because they got the good stuff. Um, they haven't got, they haven't got a grade, unfortunately, so we're going to keep an eye on that. But we need a few crappy doctors. So we're going to have one here, and you're going to work in here, and we're going to close you. Okay, we're going to turn this off. Let me just double check uh, temperature. Looks like it's fair to middling all the way around, so that's okay. Right, uh, GD needs a nurse. Yes, okay, so we're going to have one doctor there being rubbish. We're going to have a nurse here who can go in between a few different buildings being rubbish. And then we're going to have a assistant 
that we get a good assistant. So there's a lot. Training, training. Oh, oh, oh hello. You look good. Customer service, stamina, emotional intelligence, and customer service level two. Yeah, we want a good one of you because you're going to be, you know, you're going to basically look after this hospital for now because <laughs> um, we've got a crap doctor and we've got a crap nurse and that's it. So that's the idea. But whilst they're being crap, we're also going to hire two more doctors and we're going to get them training for some more stuff, all right? So we're going to hire Raquel. We're going to throw you in here. Learn of qualification. And we're going to hire Boris Strong. And we're, you're going to learn of qualification as well. So, so also, uh, Raquel, where are you? Raquel Pump. You're going to learn psychiatry, and you're going to learn it from Herman Freud. We're going to have to bring you in. Start training. Right, okay, so psychiatry. That's one of the first ones we want to do. So let's get our psychiatry room built. Uh, now, some, a couple of people moaned that our psychiatry room was, was too big. And quite frankly, I like a big psychiatry room. I don't know what to tell you, but here we're just going to fill this 4x4. All right, there we go. Um, windows. I've, I've got used to the fact now that windows are a, a, a necessary evil. All right, so you can stop. Uh, writing in about that as well. We'll get rid of that there. Okay. So, let's have the chair there. And we'll have a couch up against the wall. We can't have it up against the wall, but we'll have it, you know, lining up against the wall. There's a nice little lamp over the two of them. Okay. So, filing cabinets is going to be this little area here. We obviously need a lovely plant over here and we want a radiator oh let's actually get the plants more in the middle there so we can have a radiator there we go we'll get one over this side as well oh outside window yeah we like those um and then we obviously your certificates are plenty because this guy's clever um there we go yep and I can. I wonder. Can we put the anatomy model in here? Yeah. Now, in the original, uh, in the in the first game, Valley Wall location. That's interesting because we always used to be able to do that before. Um, you always used to put the skeleton down in the uh, pharmacy, but in this case, we're going to have an anatomy model for no particular reason. I mean, eventually we can. Yeah, the fireplace, bookcases, changing screens, loads of lovely things. So we will get those eventually. It's going to be a big old kudosh needed though. So what haven't we got in place? We just we can't afford it. We're just skint. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to take out that other low, and I hope it's not gonna absolutely crush us. Oh, the whole thing's disappeared. Lovely. Take loan. Well, we couldn't have done it anyway, could we? So let's go in and redo that. Now I'm purposefully leaving it running now. I know people moan about me keeping stuff running, but to be honest with you, we need we need this to go. Else this room we're building is useless. Uh, does this cost us money? Because uh, that's the next thing we're going to do, is we're going to start them being researchers. And also then we need to look at increasing the uh, the, the diagnosing ability. Because sometimes, apparently, if you get the diagnosing good enough, they, the GP can diagnose them straight away. They haven't got to go anywhere else, which would be very useful. Very useful indeed. All right, so let me just quickly do this again. Okay, so uh, psychiatrist is set up again, and we now have a psychiatrist in it as well, which is good. Now, uh, And also we've got a pharmacy, because that's uh, good for some early stuff now. Here's something we need to do uh, occasionally. These guys here with the chroma, um, we we can't cure them. We don't have the thing researched now. And very rightly pointed out by Mr. Malova uh, in the chat is that um, we, we can't cure them, so they might as well clear off, get out of our hospital and stop sort of, you know, clogging up our queues. Same with the deluxe guys. We haven't got the cure for you yet. We can, we're going to have soon, but for now, clear off. Wasting my time. Um, okay, these guys we can do. They're psychiatrists. Um, and, you know, these they're not great, these doctors, but they're getting there. But we've also got diagnosis one almost done. So, you, where's the doctor? I put a doctor in here to learn. You better have learned it quick. Is it you? Your diagnostics, right, okay, so here we go. So we're going to pick you up now then, and we're going to drop you in here, and you are going to come out. Can I... Can you jump on this? 
Oh, you're not going to get to the end of it, are you? Oh, they carry on learning. Get sit down. You are naughty. My worry is that when that finishes, duration eight to sixty days. That's fine. You keeps going until they've learned it. Do they? You might as well learn it, hadn't you? So now diagnosis is a little bit better now. Then the queue will go down a bit quicker, and uh, and hopefully you know we'll stop them being sent into other places as well. Uh, we need another nurse in here. There we go. And the problem is, unfortunately, is they're just they're just rubbish. They, we need to train them up, and to do and to train them up, we need to stick them in these rooms. To stick them in these rooms, they're costing us money, and it means that we end up with no money. But we've got money coming in. People are getting cured now. All right. So I think we 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 kind of figured out what this level requires of us now. <laughs> uh, staff promotion, yeah, go for it. That's going to help us here. We need to train a doctor in research as well, but that is not the uh, that is not the most important thing right now. So you have got diagnostics now. So you get picked up. You now go in here to diagnose people. You also come and learn diagnostics. Okay. Um. So hold on. How many nurses do we have? We have four nurses. Okay. And we have one, two, three four five places the nurses are that's why right so okay what's the queue here like five queue there it's still a six queue there yeah we need another nurse but i'm hoping that it's sort of speculate to accumulate you know so i keep them all filled out and hopefully they'll go to the right places and them doing their job and some money look 16 grand we've got there just while i've been talking so i do think that we're sort of on the way to figuring out what we need to do i hope you're a nurse Doctor. So what can you do? You can't do anything, so you can go and learn diagnostics as well. That bar goes down. Right, so as long as we keep pe dropping people in here, he'll sit there and keep learning, teaching diagnostics. That's amazing. That's exactly what we need to do. Oh, I can hear a crying baby boy. That's my son. Don't worry, he's with his mom and he's probably going for a bath. <laughs> um, right. Oh. Dead. Misery guts. Treatment failed. Bop, bop. Oh, we need to get some benches over here, look. Oh, that was a really dramatic, cinematic death. Are you going to be ghosty? No, you're just off. Okay, well done. Sorry. Can't afford it. What happened to that 16 grand we just had? I assume we hired somebody. Wow, here we go. <laughs> Let's get a couple of benches here. Because we need to keep people happy. We need to keep people happy. It's freezing here, look. Here you are. We'll put one of them down to help you lie out, and also something to keep you, keep you sweet. How about a little, uh, little leaflet rack to have a look at while you're bored? There we go. Let's just try and place that a bit better. Uh, a few people said they're really frustrated with how, um, time, how much time I spend lining things up. Uh, welcome to Geekism. That, that's what we do right here. I'm afraid <laughs> we are the ones who uh, spend far too long sticking plants on a wonk. There we go. I'll probably get one of them over here as well. Beautiful. Yeah, you better be watering it. Right, so we now have um, oh litter, you little buggers. We've got bins around. I think litter we're much better on top of this time though, so that's good. How are we doing over here? Di who who's learning diagnostics? Who's nearly done? Eighty-four percent, thirty-seven percent. That's rubbish. Nurse, fifty-seven percent. Okay, I want all of you to have level one diagnostics because that's we need to get people diagnosed. Okay. Um, Chroma, you need to go home. You, we can't help you. I'm sorry. And you home. And are you Chroma or are you just grim looking? Uh, home. <laughs> uh, should be no, 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 no patience over that side. Light bulb. Bye bye. Can't help you. Sorry. Uh, Chroma. Oh, I can't, I can't send you home. There, go away. Um, everyone's pretty miserable. Treatment failed. What's going on? Are you just rubbish or what? We need to get we need to get a couple of nurses trained in treatments, don't we? <laughs> um, Chloe Hunter isn't able to go where she wants to be. Who's Chloe Hunter? When she's at home. There's a doctor come out. Right, good. Are you are you now trained? Beautiful. Okay, you go. Junior doctor on a break, so go and have a break then. 
applications for a new PA announcer. Uh, right, okay. I think these cute. There's not much we can do about them, to be honest with you, because there's just a lot of people. Uh, Night fever. No, I don't think we can manage that. Promote yet? Um, okay, mucky feet. Uh, staff, who are you? Are you a nurse? Yeah, go on then, we'll train you. Ooh, hashtag spooky door, just a little one though. Um, let's get pharmacy management. Let's get a good pharmacist. Um, Gordon Nightingale, nice. Is it worth getting two of them? Start training, and then we'll hire a crap one and just fire the rubbish one when they're done, you know? Ernest Mastic, great name, but yeah, what are you going to do? Uh, I think we might as well get that third GP office built. Can we afford it? Oh, five grand, probably not. Uh, earn a hundred thousand. I mean, we can try. We can try, most definitely. We need to promote one more member of staff. As soon as that pops up there, they'll all have done that. Okay, GP's office. That's, so far, that costs us a thousand. That's not too bad. All right. Oh, we've got a ghost. We've got a ghost, but I'm sure one of the janitors have the ability for ghost curing. So let's see how we get on. A ghost has been sighted in the hospital. Yeah, so I'm sure one of the janitors has the ability. I'm assuming it's not that one that's running off, so that's a good start. Um, okay, let's just get this room done. Keeping an eye on. Oh, cost wise, we're, we're fine. Look, we've got loads of money. Loads of money! Let's do that and that, and let's get a little no, a little lamp. There we go. Plant over by a nice window. There we go. Radiator. It's pretty quick. There we go. Should take care of the ghost now. And yeah, okay. The two, the two that have that ability, we're both um, we're both on a break. <laughs> okay, training wise, how are we doing? We are, okay, yes, nurses are going well. Guest trainer in pharmacy management. Okay, so let's have a little look here then. Uh, doctors. So we have six doctors. You are looking for work and you are looking for work, but you can't be trained in anything, unfortunately. So I would say then that you Attention. can Urinating. go away. Anywhere in the hospital will not be Fire. It's because I took all that medicine, isn't it? Yes, it is. So now we have five doctors. They should all be now in work. Work in GP's office. Work in GP's office. This one here. You need to be working in GP's office as well. So let's see if we can figure this out. Who's... Right. What do you have the ability to do? You have diagnosis. You have diagnosis. I'm guessing you don't. No, you're psychiatry, so you can come out and... Oh god, this is really hard work. This is like proper micromanaging, isn't it? I think there's ways you can do stuff to help, though. Because we can go into here, look, and we can go to job roles. Doctors. So we can say that you are not allowed to work in a GP's office. You are psychiatry and other stuff, alright? And therefore, what we can also do is say is that you guys won't work anywhere. Oops. But the GP's office you see and then they just rotate around the GP's office and that seems to work out pretty well I think and then you can sort of focus them all down different uh, angles then you see okay let's have a look here open all rising star pretty much won that one every time I think even if you even if you're doing it awfully you get yourself rising star promotes promotes uh, promote three staff again okay you should have said that one first uh, patient for treatment good an hundred grand, I think. We're... Did we do it, or is it asking us to do it? I'm not sure. We've got health inspector in. Shouldn't be doing awfully that health inspector. You please tell me you're going to get that ghosty. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I think I could tell because the ghost stood still. <laughs> right. A lot of patients are queuing outside rooms that are run. Oh, I missed that. That are run by something, by rubbish doctors, I guess. Uh, somebody's just died in the toilet. I feel sorry for them, but there's not much I can do about it. Okay, yeah, pharmacy. You, pharmacy girl, you're awesome. Your diagnostics, though, you would be better. Have they finished over here with pharmacy management? Eighty, not nearly. Because then what we'll do is we'll rotate these. We'll make sure the diagnostics lady, diagnostics lady, even 
always works in here. You go home. Can't help you. Sorry. You're clogging up the system. To be honest, we can't do a lot with it. I know, I know that you've got the clown thing and we can't help you. Oh, I just clicked the wrong guy. Oi, whoops. You, home. Uh, another ghosty. Come on, where's the... Just one is 10 grand for the completion of some training. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Staff promotion. Promote, promote. There we go. Okay. Looking for work. You are... Pharmacy manager from now on. So you stay there. You don't. Oh, that annoys me a little bit that they leave the room uh, if there's nothing to do. You can you not just go and wait in there for work to do, please? Let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. Nurses. Okay, you are pharmacy management. Okay, where are you? Pharmacy management. So you work in the pharmacy. Good. That's your job from now on. You can do pharmacy, but you can also do uh, oh, clown clinics nurse, is it? Okay, you can do clown clinic as well. And we'll build that now. We've got enough. Okay. Quickly put down a quick clown clinic. A quick click. Clip, clip, clip. Right then, had a quick session placing all of these down then. So we've now got the dehumifier, we've got the extractor pan, and we've got the deluxo lux. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. So let's get a God, is there somebody coming over here? Please tell me. I like all these numbers have gone, which is pretty good. Um, and we have nobody being trained. Okay, so let's have a look at our staff then. Uh, at our docs. Just docs, please. Have you all got something to do? Yeah, so we need a new doctor. So let's hire a rubbish doctor to go in there. Because the good thing is, these, all of these, it's you're talking like 10 grand a pop for being cured. So... It really helps us out, uh, numbers wise. A lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of psychiatry patients needing help. So what we'll do is maybe try and give them somewhere to sit. I was kind of hoping we could get a row because it's a bit, uh, yeah. So hoping we could get a little row of uh, some chairs here to really help people out. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Happy with that. Hopefully a few more of them will sit down. Okay, you've been cured. So we should find that we get a bit of money running in now. Uh, nothing to complain about here, but not much to be happy about either. I'll take it. Uh, who needs training? A, a nurse. Okay, let's train a nurse. Who else we got? What can they hold on? Let's see what they can have first. Um, injection administration. Treatment skill in the injection room. We haven't got the injection room. Um, bedside manner treatment. Treatment would be good for a nurse, maybe. Or do we? Are we just better going diagnostics? Let's go diagnostics. And oh, we got a doctor who's. We could do two nurses with diagnostics, or we could do Robin Stench. We just. We just hired you, but diagnostics is super useful. Oh, we could. Oh, sorry. Yeah, bring one in. Bring one in for twenty grand. Yeah, I can't afford to take one of you off the off the lot. Of course, once they're trained, they can teach other people. That's good, isn't it? Seven patients with chest infection. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go for that because I'd like the kudosh. It's only a nurse needed, isn't it, for chest infection? I say only a nurse. I mean nothing special. Yeah, not that nurses aren't anything special. Oh God, give me a. Give me a shovel to dig that further. Um, what I mean is we can hire a nurse and just get him smack in there, can't we? You need to go home, as do you. Because we just haven't got what we need to do. You yet. Yeah, you all look miserable. and I, you, So you should, because I can't cure you. Um, no more of these. Are, are they somebody with the hats on, or are they just wearing snazzy hats? Lily Squirm, you're just you're just wearing a snazzy hat, aren't you, my love? Okay. Um, yeah, psychiatry. Almost could do with a second psychiatry. I suppose it wouldn't do any harm. We could have it here. But that would fill out as our areas then. Hmm. But it's the only one really with a queue, apart from this one, which is the uh, emergency that we're running through. Okay. Second quick psychiatry, and then I think we'll leave it there. But I definitely feel like we've made good progress. I feel that um, I'm getting I'm getting better at figuring out the uh, requirements, so to speak, of the game. 
what it really needs me to do. And like I say, I think I came in here a little bit, um, well, flippant, I guess. I think I think the uh, the cutesy graphics and everything really kind of fool you into thinking that this is a simple game to play, but it's very much a theme hospital. I, I'll tell you this now, I'll be honest with you, I never finished theme hospital. I know. I know. I know exactly what you're saying. Portion. I can hear you saying it. We never finished Theme Hospital because it was tough. It was a difficult game to play, really difficult game to play. Um, and I always only got about halfway through. And then, especially when things like the uh, the what's it started, the um, uh, the earthquakes. Ugh, I hope this game doesn't have earthquakes. Or if it does, I, I don't mind it having earthquakes, but please don't let it have uh, rooms that can't happen, that can't do anything with. I used to hate that mechanic so badly. Ugh, plants on a wonk. Um, Okay. There is a second uh, member of staff that has a um, a thingy uh, psychiatry qualification. So I realise we've got a, mirror, a window there, but I'm not going to worry about it. There we go. Get those down, and we'll get some. Whoops. Get some benches in. And I've realised already one thing I haven't done for a while, and that is add a Bin. Well, why are you on the wonk? Flies into the crack through your keyboard. Ooh. Does the keyboard Ooh. feed on you? I don't know. No one knows. Ooh. Okay. I'll let him off. Uh, yeah, big big bin. We put big bins outside. Big bin. Big bin. Uh, we'll stick a clock out here. People can see what how long they've been waiting for. Um, do you know what? We'll get rid of you. Let's put some... Oh, notices would be nice. Can we get them anywhere? Can they go above a, a chair? They can. That's awesome. Drinks fountain. There we go. Let's get a couple of these in. There we are. Maintenance announcement. Um, let's get a leaflet holder there. There we are. And we'll do a little radiator here because it's chilly willy. Look at that. And what is wrong? What is wrong with... There we go. Let's figure it out. Thank you. And then we'll put one there. Awesome, and then a couple of plants just to really sort of top off the area would be good. Let's get one on the end of that row of those seats there, and the end of this row of the seats. So I don't like placing them just in the middle of the room, but at the end of a row like that, I actually think works quite nicely. There we go. Oh, and the baby boy sounds very miserable, so I'm going to go and see if he's okay. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, you can give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. Oh, that's looking better, isn't it? Looking much better managed. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, Discord. Join the Discord. Come and say hello. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.